Welcome to Masonry Institute of Dayton and to Texal. Okay, let me take you back now to before the war. On the takeoff roll is the Waco Taperwing, built in Troy, Ohio, flown by airshow veteran Bob Wagner. Now, this airplane and types like it have very significant history in air shows and aerobatics. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Goodrich Mackey Waco Taperwing. Waco, not like the city in Texas, but it is a soft A, meaning, meaning Weaver Aircraft Company, W-A-C-O. The company's motto was, ask any pilot. This has the Linko sign, this Goodrich sponsored airplane has a Linko sign on the side. If you have ever read Bill Sweet's book, They Call Me Mr. Airshow, you will remember the Linko Flying Aces, based here in Ohio, some of the most famous barnstormers of his so time. So prominent in the airplane that he was able, back in the 1930s, to win a grand prize for his incredible performance at the International Air Games. That was back in 1936. He won a $10,000 prize, which was very serious jack back in those times. Well, over the years, he also won the Freddie Lund Trophy. Now, if we go to our history books and we take the general consensus of who was the first civilian pilot to do the outside loop, it was made re-famous again by the movie The Great Waldo Pepper, starring Robert Redford, that movie directed by George oh and dynamic air show pilot of the 1920s and 30s, did it first in a Waco taper wing similar to the one you're looking at now. And that is the negative G loop in the sky where the pilot is on the outside portion of the loop rather than the inside where the gravity forces are trying to force the pilot out of the airplane and where the airplanes did not have the power back in those days or the structural integrity to be able to get the airplane all the way around without e either running out of speed at a very precarious attitude and a low altitude but also didn't have the structural integrity to take the high G loads that were imposed on those airplanes in trying to complete that maneuver. Yes, they were strong to the positive G maneuver, that's when you're forced down into your seat, but most of the airplanes were a bit frail when it came to the opposite direction. So a lot of history in this airplane. This also became probably the most famous of all of the Waco taper wings because it is unique, Mackey, had it streamlined with sheet metal on the fuselage back in the 1930s. It was done in Cincinnati by a very famous company called Hill Aircraft Streamliners. And they were the ones that built streamlined cowlings and wheel pants for the racers who raced up in Cleveland and who were the fastest men and women in the world. Oh, were Nobody they ever? did better sheet metal work than the Hill Group, and they're the ones that put the sheet metal on this airplane, and it is now still flying in that configuration, and the only one like it. Mackey changed the engine. He used the right engine, the model R975, and that designates the cubic inch of the engine. It was the model J6-9. It still sports the Linko sign from the Linko Flying Aces of Findlay, Ohio, later becoming the Marathon Oil Company. They did promotions and air shows and barnstorming with a wide variety of aircraft. They did aircraft rides and barnstorming with Ford Tri-Motors up there. Later, Joe Mackey, who had started Mackey Aircraft Service, in the Ohio area would go down to Fort Lauderdale Airport and actually start an airline that existed into the 1970s called Mackey International. And the great Bill Sweet said <laughs> he, he devised a promotion down in Fort Lauderdale when they were doing air shows down there, fly overseas for five dollars. 
and overseas meant you could go from Fort Lauderdale up to the Bahamas for a five dollar bill. Mackey used World War II aircraft like the C-47 or the DC-3, later he had DC-4s and DC-6s, and a company called Eastern Airlines acquired Mackey back in the uh, 1970s or so, and it went into the history books. <laughs> Guys, be nice. Bob Wagner, our pilot, has been flying and demonstrating this taper wing since it returned to Troy, Ohio, its home. That was back in 1996. This great pilot, who lives in West Milton, Ohio, has been flying air shows since 1962. He is currently employed by the by the Waco factory in uh, building the new airplanes in Battle Creek, Michigan, where he is a test pilot, a ferry pilot a maintenance pilot and a modification Apache pilot visiting the owners around the world you got the Apache on in their brand new fully certified aircraft that rolls off the factory floor and doesn't look too much different from this aircraft but using state-of-the-art technology we got a chance to meet bob's wife at the mandatory performer safety briefing this morning for years and years and years she walked the wing of Bonaganza of grassroots flying its second appearance is right here and right now in front of you. Get a load of this and look at that tapered top wing, Blinko on the side, a blistered cowling, sunburst and stripes on the tail. This is the way it looked back in the 1930s. It is so great for us kids who grew up dreaming about these airplanes to be able to see them actively flying. After this performance, the second of its three performances, Bob and the Mackie Tape Wing, sponsored by Goodrich, will be flying to Oshkosh, and it is there each day where Bob will, with that smoke system,